Hi, Craig here again with Beach Groomer. Today I'd like to go through assembling your pump package. Uh, and from there we'll actually prime the pump and show you how to use your pump. Now, when you get your pump package, you're going to be getting these components right here. Your 33 feet of suction hose, your filter stand, the filter, the check valve, the pump, and the pump mounting base. Now, just to speed things up, I've already uh, mounted the pump to the base, and I just simply screwed in the male adapter, which comes with this, uh, with the pump package. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see, I've located the pump near the water's edge in a convenient location. We're going to drive these stakes through the pump mounting base just to secure it, and this will provide it a good, solid foundation. Got a hole through the mounting bolt base on each side. It comes with these tent stakes. So this is kind of handy. Now, if you don't want to mount it on the lawn or beach, you can always put it on your dock or on a pier. And this mounting base, you can screw it, rivet it. Very easy to work with. All right, now we've got the pump in this nice, solid position. Our next step to start the process is the suction hose. So we're going to take one end, both ends are the same, and put it on the pump. It shows you how easy these things are to use. Very easy to attach and that's a nice airtight fitting. You won't have any problems with that. Now our next step is to, going to be just to put the Bigfoot filter on its stand and that's color coded, red to red. Okay, that's on there. Blue to blue, check valve. Now attach the hose. Now we attach the hose to the check valve. We are now going to walk the filter into your desired location in the lake. Now getting close to the Filters in place. All right, now our next step is we've got the filter in place on the lake bottom, as you can see. Got the hose stretched out, going in a nice downward angle to the filter. We're going to now fill the hose with water. Now this probably takes several buckets to, uh, to fill this hose up entirely, which you want to do. You want to fill that hose up. Back on the pump. Now our next step is to fill the pump reservoir with water. I'm going to use a funnel because it makes it easier. Now as you can see that that hose is full of water and the reason it's holding water is because of that check valve. All right. Our pump is full of water. Now, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to put the optional four-way brass hose manifold on the pump. This is going to assist me in priming it for one. And then I, I also can show you how this thing works.
Okay, I'm going to turn the power on. We are now starting to discharge water. As you can see, I've got all four of those valves closed to begin with. I have no outlets open. Now I'm slowly going to open up one of these discharge outlets. Okay, we're starting to pump water. You can hear her heave a little bit. There she goes. Your pump is now primed. This pump is ready to use for the entire summer. As you can see, that puts out a lot of water. Put your four garden hoses anywhere you'd like. I'd, you'd have it going out this way, I have it going back into the lake. Now I must say, always have a, a discharge going when your pump is on. It's not good for your pump to uh, not, not discharge water while it's running. In fact, if it runs too long without discharging water, it, it can really overheat and, and hurt the pump. So just keep that in mind. So that's priming the pump. 